Oh man TG, I think tonight I've played possibly the most horrifying game of magic in my life. First I'll have to give a little bit of backstory to my group. I'm from a small town with a really low magic playing population, but I've always been into the game. My cousin and I played since Onslaught Block, though he stopped when I went off to college due to lack of players. While was there I found my current love of the Elder Dragon Highlander format, where you have a legendary creature as your general and a 100 card deck where you can only have one copy of a card per deck except for basic lands. I was sad that when I had to go back home for the summer, but a guy I played with at college told me of a card store only about a half an hour from where I live that might have people who'd play with us. So at the start of summer I souped up my cousin's deck into an EDH list and we started playing there. Pick is my general. Well I've never heard of the Elder Dragon Highlander format. Sounds pretty cool. Dude comes from a plane without much mana. Cut him some slack. We managed to wrangle up an EDH group every Saturday night except for a few at times M11 release was a big one. I played Cradge since I was tired of my college EDH Dex Hanna and the Esper chick that steals creatures. I had a pretty good group, which I'm gonna keep anonymous by basing their names off of their generals. We had a fairly diverse group. First off is the Baroness. Our resident weeaboo and hardcore vampire fangirl who ironically claims to hate Twilight on the grounds that it gave vampires a bad name who has a minor black vampire deck with good old Baron Senge. As a general, she's fairly cool despite despite being the youngest in our group, tied at 17 with my cousin but a few months younger. Then there was the Avenger, my friend from college playing a deck based off of token creatures with Asmara, Holy Avenger as his general. Also loves him some comics on the side, though where he actually reads the Avengers I have no idea my knowledge on. Them is lacking. Then there was the Tuscan Raider, the store owner's son and probably the most stereotypical fat guy looking person you'd ever meet. He wore nothing but Star Wars t-shirts hence the name, but was an ok guy and a great rules library, if but a touch on the quiet side. He played a deck based on Wirt, the Raid Mother also hence the name and conspiring very crazy sorceries. Dragonhirelander.net link in description. It's a cool format. Don't let what I'm about to tell ruin it. Next was Cutthroat, a really muscular guy and resident Tony Fag. A bit of a dick sometimes, but otherwise a good enough fellow. Looked like he should have been playing sports instead of magic, but damn he knew his stuff. Played a really control heavy sig. River Cutthroat deck. Last up was my cousin, a broma man I'm good at this. My cousin playing an edified version of his old cleric's deck with a chroma. Angel of Wrath as his general and some newer cards from me. He's a real nice cousin to hang with and is sort of like my younger brother. His chroma is actually from Divine vs Demonic, which I got him for his birthday. Made him the happiest Mathefica since chroma was his favorite card. Anyway, as of today, this all worked out perfectly. Big free for all games full of politics, combos surprise victories, and everything else you could think of. Real good stuff. What changed is when the Avenger brought his girlfriend to play with us. Now his girlfriend, whom I'll call Misha and explain later, I've actually met a few times of college. She was a nice girl to hang around with and played a mean game of magic the few times I've played her. I was at first really excited for her to come, since our group was getting a bit stale. The Avenger let me know ahead of time that she was using a custom general, which should have set me off that something was wrong, but he's a really good talker. Technically it was Inktred and Nephilim with a different creature type angel, legendary and a 4 stroke 5, which didn't sound that crazy. I've heard of people using the Nephilims as legendaries because there are number 4 color legendary creatures. Today for the first time we got an actual look at the card. Misha, the questing beauty, which apparently she did the art for and wasn't too bad. The actual card was made in magic set editor slipped in front of actual cards in sleeves, so it looked legit. Tuscan Raider asked her why she didn't just include black, which she stated was the color of evil and hatred and that it was the other color's duty to vanquish it. The Baroness did one of those really animu eyelid pulls with her tongue out, the rest of us sighed, and we started playing. The game started fairly normally. I was ramping lands, the Avenger made his tokens. Tuscan Raider and Abroma were getting some minor swings at each other while Cutthroat drew his cards off of Sig. The Baroness played a few vamps and some nice equipment fucking Sword of Fire and Ice, and Misha just played some nice non-basics, Ravnica duels and a few tree lands, but nothing else. Nothing major happened until Misha's general hit the table. Cutthroat jokingly tried to counter it, but she had enough mana for a counter of her own. Once her turn came around again is where things got crazy. Unlike what we initially believed, Misha's general was not the only custom card in the deck. 
She played Holy Elemental Lance of Misha, which was shit you not, a 4-4 word colored artifact equipment that gave first strike, protection from black, 3 stroke 3, vigilance, and untapped all multicolor producing lands when the equipped creature attacked. The only balanced part of that was that the equip cost was 10, but even that was negated by the card saying it was free to equip by Misha the General. It was more ironic that she was in the usual demographic for that kind of thing. She smiled and swung at the Baroness for 7 unblockable general damage, which caused all of the other players except the Avenger to call bullshit, especially the Baroness. Misha stated that it was perfectly balanced while the Baroness was saying it was not only fucking ridiculous, it completely crippled her own deck. The Avenger told all of you to settle down, that we were just playing a game and that there was no need to get angry at each other. Eventually we quieted down and the game continued going around until it got to the Baroness's turn. She drew her card and started giggling fiercely. I had a fairly good idea what she drew, and I was correct. A kicked gatekeeper of Malacca hit the table, aimed at Misha. The Baroness started doing vigorous humping motions while going how do you like me now, which Misha calmly played a card, another custom card, banish the wicked. It was an instant for one white that countered target non-white spell and drew her a card. The Baroness went crimson. I threw her some slack and responded with a negate to her custom card, which she responded to with Banish the Vile, the exact same card with all instances of white replaced with green. This time I was prepared to call her out on the bullshit, but Tuscan Raider beat me to it. He started to lecture her over how overpowered the card was and that counters were a blow thing to do. This was no rage speech either, he was calm the whole time. Misha lost her shit now, started saving how the other colors needed to step up there. Defenses against the wicked, especially referring to the Baroness, calling her a black bitch. Cutthroat snickered at the last remark, but then calmed down. Misha then kept going on how bitches like her corrupt men with their wickedness and that her general was in full right to have these cards at her disposal. A broma and I were dumbfounded. While this happened the game still kept going turn order was Misha, Baroness, a broma, Cutthroat, me, and the Avenger. Eventually Misha had her turn again. She played a surprisingly real fire shrieker, an actual equipment that gives double strike, and killed the Baroness via general damage. In EDH, if you take 21 damage from the same general, you die. The Baroness flipped her shit and left the room. A Broma gave me a nudge and showed me his hand. I suppressed a giggle and told everyone a Broma and me were going to go calm the Baroness. I'm fairly mellow to begin with, plus the Avenger is really good at calming people down. It was one of the things I liked about him. When we got to her, she was stomping around and visibly pissed, but we managed to calm her down enough to come back to the table after I told her what a broma and I had in store. Back at the game, a broma was up. He drew his card, smiled, and played Hallowed Burial, basically a wrath that puts all creatures on the bottom of their owner's libraries. This took everyone not in the know off guard, but it looked like it hit Misha pretty hard. Then my turn happened. I played bribery, which let me fish out Misha's general and put it onto the field under my control. Misha started to cry, and the Avenger lost his shit now. He started to yell at us for making her cry and that we were being our souls, to which Cutthroat, mimicking him from earlier mentioned, it was just a game. No need to fight. The Avenger held his tongue and the game continued on. Things were looking to be back to normal, until the Avenger and Misha started whispering something to her. During his turn, the Avenger finally dropped the ball. It actually puts them on the bottom. It's one of the reasons it and Hinder are so good hated in EDH. He played a card obviously of Misha's creation, Soul Dragon of Misha. Now I'm pretty good at remembering cards, even these made up ones, but this one was too much. The gist of it is that the Avenger had to sacrifice his life to play it, which then puts it into play under Misha's control. Other than that it was a 40 stroke 40, and had enough abilities that the text looked like ice cauldrons. Honestly, I would have remembered more if not for what happened next. Cutthroat, with the biggest troll face I have ever seen, in response cast gather specimens. If you happen to remember this crap rare from Shards of Alera, you'll be glad to know it's a beast in EDH. Cutthroat jacked the dragon thing before Misha could even touch it. The Baroness, Abroman, Tuscan Raider, and I responded by cheering. The Avenger responded by punching Cutthroat in the face. Now the thing you got to know about Cutthroat is that when you look at him, a bodybuilder comes to mind, not a magic player. He used to tell us he'd lift weights while watching magic videos and strategy podcasts. The Avenger isn't too badly built, but there was no way he could win. Cutthroat started wailing on him. 
Tusken Raider stepped in after a few blows and managed to break things up. Misha and the Avenger were kicked out of the store until he felt like letting them come back, and had the authority to back it up. The two of them left immediately, the Avenger with a bloody nose. After they left and the dust had cleared, we sat there in silence for a few minutes. The Baroness suggested we just pack up for the night, which I agreed on full-heartedly. I took Abroma back home with me and dropped him up at his house. And now I'm back home trying to figure out what the fuck happened with my night. If you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop!